I was told by our members on the committee uh, yesterday, I think, that they wanted to bring forward a recommendation that there be a freeze. Um, and I was very pleased that they decided to do that. I think it's important for MLAs, and I'm glad it was government MLAs, that continue to lead by example. We want to make sure that we're doing everything uh, possible to set the right tone. We are doing that. Uh, we're continuing with, I think, really productive negotiations with doctors and teachers. I've spoken to both ministers that are responsible uh, for those negotiations or, or involved in those negotiations. Uh, and my sense is that we're getting to the point where everyone's coming together. How do you say that MLAs took an 8% pay increase? You're saying that cut. Well, I'm not going to start debating everything we debated last June, but as of a year ago, compared to today, the entire compensation package for all MLAs is 8% less. Well, in fact, uh, when we put forward our expense uh, policy last September, we made it clear that government MLAs would include their expenses. Um, so uh, I'm not, I wasn't aware that that was on the agenda, but it's consistent with where we've always said that we should go. I mean, every single dollar is a taxpayer's dollar, and we need to be prudent and accountable and responsible with those dollars. I mean, from our perspective, I'm not sure that this is something, now that we've dealt with the issue, uh, that we've taken a pay cut, that we've frozen uh, any increase, that we really need or have time to be talking about on a monthly basis. I guess theoretically, if people want to, they can, but at some point, we move on. My message to doctors and teachers is no different than my message has been to Albertans for two months, which is that we have a $6 billion drop in revenue that's unprecedented, um, that uh, is something that no one foresaw. Um, we didn't even see that in, in uh, you know, the opposition's shadow budget. Nobody foresaw this coming. And that means that we have some tough choices to make. I think doctors and teachers are tremendously important as our public servants as a whole. But at the end of the day, if we don't have money to increase compensation, that is simply a reality.